Hello everybody, it's Marcus here with another Terraria video, and today I am going to go over one of the T-Shock plugins, World Edit. So World Edit, if you've played Minecraft, is basically just about the same, just not with the third dimensional plane. We're dealing with a two dimensional plane here. Uh, let's go ahead and find something that isn't too... Uh, Crappy lag, maybe? Ah, yeah, here. So, World Edit has commands the same way as I think Minecraft did. You use double slashes and go away, zombie, and eyeball. So, in order to select two points, you need to type slash point one. Choose a position with an ice rod or something. And then use the second slash point two. And we're gonna go down here, copy, then now we just need to move it. So just do point one and choose a place you want to put it, and just say paste. Basic world editing concept, right? Now, what's going on down there? I don't know. Oops. There's noises, but nothing's going on here. Okay, so what can you do with... Jeez, there's always noises everywhere. What can you do with World Edit? Well, um, one thing you can do is you can copy anything that you've created. So if it's a house, a structure, that probably you don't want to lose, that would probably be the best thing to do. With. The good thing about it is you can save schematics. So just point one and point two, the places. Copy it, then type schematic, save, and give it a name. Let's say, my teleporter. There you go. I type teller. Wait, what? Okay, I type teller. Teller Potter? Okay, Harry Potter much. A anyway, now you can load schematics. Let's load a random schematic. We don't know what the heck. We don't even know what schematics we have, so we're going to have to list them. Okay, there's quite a few of them. Let's do schematic spawn ren corner. Really? Oh wait, schematic load. You have to type load. Then spawn ren corner. I don't even know if this is going to work. But here we go. Paste. I have no idea what this will do, but let's see. Okay, so ren corner spawn is a nice little spawny spawn. There you go, a complete structure, and it remembers everything, including corners and... What? Oh, <laughs> well, world regeneration just took over, that's okay, because we're going to shift this down. So shift is the kind of thing you want to do when you're trying to align your structure with something else. So let's say shift down, D for down. So just use the first letter of whatever you're trying to go into the direction, and I think it was like five, maybe? Now let's paste it. Not paste, paste. There you go, somewhat on the surface of the planet. So this is Ren Corner's teleporter spawn, and has an activated statue. Interesting, but the activated statue needs to be... There's a chest here too, but I don't think you can... It remembers the name of the chest. How peculiar. Alright, so we had that teleporter. So, load... What did I call it? My teller... Potter? I think that was what it was. Now we just choose a point. And paste it. There you go. So you can paste objects, copy it, and practice two things. That's where... You, oh yes. When you don't want to have what you pasted or you screwed it up somehow, just do undo. The number just tells the plugin how many steps it should do. So since we only did one step, we're going to just undo one. So let's see what else there is. Um, there are quite a few commands here. Resize. Oh yes, I think resize is probably a good thing. Resize allows you to resize the selection that you have. 
So let's say we select a small position here, and we want to resize it to the left a hundred times. Well, if I set this to zero, you'll see that it just expanded to the left that far. So this is useful if you're trying to uh, not have to fly around and grab the end of that spot that you're looking for. Let's see what kind of commands there really are. Uh, to do that, we're going to have to type help, and it should be the first set. So there's all, there's biome, there's copy, there's cut, drain, fix grass, fix, ha fix halves, fix slopes. I'm not exactly sure what those do. You can flip your selections. You can flood them if you'd like. Mow the entire grass. Near, I have no idea what near does, but I'd rather not find out. Paint, obviously paint and paint wall is painting the entire structure, which, for those of you who... Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, select. Wait, there was all. That's what you gotta do. So now we just shift down... 400. And then paint... Shadow. This is probably gonna do some serious damage of some sort. Now, of course, I'm doing this on an entire world, so it's going to take some time. I don't see an error. I don't think it's working. Oh, okay, it did work. There you go. So I just painted the entire world black. Wow. I wonder, is anything else painted black? Probably not. <laughs> Welcome to Limbo! Oh yeah, well if you want to do paint wall shadow, you're gonna have to do that too. So, the entire wall world looks like Limbo. For anyone who doesn't know what Limbo is, Limbo is that game that's very sad and emotional, but really well done. But Jesus Christ, the whole world is literally black. I mean, you can't tell the difference between any of this. The old world is just black right now. <laughs> Why is the world black? So that's one of the major features of being able to do is paint the entire world. There's also wires, activators, and it looks like you can set any block if you like. So what does biome do? I know what biome does is allows you to turn one biome into the other. Um, they're predefined. So this isn't like something that's there, it has to be named, so... Unless the plugin gets updated, certain biomes don't exist. Like, you can't turn a spider biome into a beautiful green biome. Another interesting thing is cutting. Cutting is basically exactly that. You take a piece out and you just move it somewhere else. So it's like, copy and delete. You copy it and then you delete the actual existence of it. Set wire is very useful because you can literally set the wires of a very large area. Do that. Do that. And I guess set wire, let me see, set wire, you have to set the state, which is on and one red, excuse me. So now let's get that, that, and there you go, you got a big block of red wires. Probably not used as often as others. So that's a command. So the central commands are schematics. The selecting option, that, wait, there's a select? Yes, select. You can actually select regions from T-Shock itself. So if you have regions like spawn, island, housing, teleport, world, spleef, blah, 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 just type select and the region you want to select. So I'd say teleporter. No, wait. Let's not do the world. Spleef. So, eh? What? You can't select spleef? What? Oh, is it region? I'm sorry. It's region. Region spleef. I don't know what selectin is. What is select? Select selection type. 
Un... I'm not sure what selection is either then. Okay, so it's region. It's double slash region lets you select an in region area. That's useful for that. Um, let me just let the world regenerate and get back to being normal. Because painting it all black was a very bad idea. So Flood, here's another one that you probably want to use if you don't want to use extensive amounts of buckets. Uh, select two points, type Flood, and then you have a choice of deciding what kind of flood uh, you want to do. Water, lava, or honey. So let's go ahead and do Flood, honey. There you go, you've got a big blob of honey. Now water... That changes it to water. And let's not do lava. And you've got yourself a big blob of lava. That's extremely dangerous. So I did this like three times. So undo three. So the amount of steps you take is important. Because if you accidentally do too many steps. You might just destroy your world completely. For no apparent reason. Um, Mo is basically just getting rid of all this stuff here, these mushrooms and grasses. You might need it, you might not. I, that, that really depends on your preferences there. Uh, fix halves? I'm not sure what fix halves does, but I don't want to know. Cut, drain. We got drain. Oh yeah, drain is the opposite of flooding, so if you want to get rid of a lot of liquid somewhere. Drain is very useful on this part. If we can even find water at any point. I, let's go to the ocean. Oh, that wasn't the ocean. That was not the ocean. Let me get out of the way. Shut up. I'm gonna die. Okay. So, select two points as always. And... Okay, that didn't work. And type drain. It completely removes the liquid in that area. So that's very useful. So while well, that is great for moving structures, if you change your world or you want to copy something that a friend gave you, it's a good way to save your work and keep it. Um, schematic has numerous commands. You can delete schematics, which I'm going to do. Uh, what was it? My Teller Potter? Deleted schematic Teller Potter. Okay, so I got... <laughs> that was a weird name. Well, that is very useful. It's made by Mario E. On the T-Shock team. Use it wisely. Uh, it can save you a lot of work building. And don't forget, as always, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.